if we could now move to General Business Notice of Motion Number 914, standing in the name of Senator Muir. Senator Muir. I ask that General Business Notice of Motion Number 914, standing in my name for today, relating to the East West Link, be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, I call Senator Muir. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the motion standing in my name and I seek leave to make a short statement. Is leave granted? Leave is granted for one minute, Senator Muir. At the time of writing this motion, there was a significant stalemate between the Victorian State Government and Federal Government in relation to the $1.5 billion unspent allocations for the East West Link. I understand in recent time there has been some conversations between the parties, but no outcome, outcome as of yet. My motion acknowledges that only 30 per cent of the population lives in rural and regional Australia, yet over 50 per cent of road fatalities occur in these areas. It was my intention to encourage all sided governments to consider the increasingly poor conditions of rural roads and subsequent uh, fatality rate and to spend the unspent allocations on upgrading rural roads where the funding is desperately needed for safety reasons, not just congestion. I acknowledge the federal black spot and roads recovery programs and note the increased allocations of funding over coming years. However, the need uh, to repair many rural roads is more immediate. I had encouraged the public to send in pictures of damaged rural roads visually to highlight the issue. There is a large amount of interest and I'm still receiving them. I will continue to collect these pictures and table them at a later date. Thank you, Senator Muir. Senator Ryan. Oh, I'll go to Senator Ryan first. Uh, Senator Ryan. Sure. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Moore. I seek leave to make a short statement. Is leave granted? Leave is granted for one minute, Senator Ryan. The Coalition Government notes Senator Muir's ongoing interest in funding for regional roads. As Senator Muir would be aware, the Coalition Government is funding regional road upgrades not only in his home state and my home state of Victoria, but right across Australia. In fact, the Coalition Government is spending $210 million to help the Victorian Government duplicate the Princess Highway East between Tarelgan and the regional town of Sale, where Senator Muir has his legal office. On top of this, the Coalition Government is also providing $500 million to duplicate the Western Highway and more than $180 million to duplicate the Princess Highway West, with both projects again located in regional Victoria. These projects are in addition to the Coalition Government's funding commitments in the current infrastructure investment program, which include $3.2 billion for the Roads to Recovery, $500 million for the Black Spot program, $300 million for the Bridges Renewal program, $230 million for the National Highway Upgrade program. The Coalition Government's preference is for funding, which was previously set aside for the East-West Link, to be used on other transport projects already agreed to within Victoria, including those in regional areas, rather than be dormant in a Victorian bank account. Thank you, Senator Ryan. Senator Rice. Leave to make a short statement. Is leave granted? Leave is granted for one minute, Senator Rice. Thank you. The Greens recognise the vital importance of making our regional roads safer, but we won't be supporting this motion because we don't believe that the full Commonwealth commitment to the East-West Link should go to rural roads. The East-West Link was a debacle, and it's one we're glad to have behind us. The Greens are committed to road safety and we acknowledge the trauma that regional and rural communities suffer as the road toll disproportionately affects those who live outside our major cities. We want to see a strong Commonwealth commitment to rural and regional roads so that we can bring down the road toll in regional Australia. However, we don't support the proposal that the full lot of Commonwealth funding for the dead and buried east-west link should go entirely to rural roads. The Commonwealth money should be redirected to cost-effective infrastructure that is built in the public interest. The $3 billion commitment should be returned to the Melbourne Metro Rail Project to begin to unclog our congested city and reduce our car dependence. We commend Senator Muir's commitment to rural road safety and look forward to working further with him on this issue. Thank you, Senator Rice. Senator Moore. Thank you, Mr. President. And short statements are always dangerous. You're seeking leave. I'm seeking leave to make a short I'm statement. I'm sure it will be granted for one minute, Senator Thank Moore. Labor agrees with the core premise of Senator Muir's motion, um, especially the point about the cost of road trauma and death. Labor notes that more deaths per population occur in rural areas. Federal Labor invested record amounts to improve road and rail transport, and there are several ongoing projects in rural Victoria, including the Western Highway and Princess Highway, and new projects to be funded under the Boost to Road to Recovery funding initiated by the opposition. Labor also spent $3.2 billion on the regional rail link. Labor believes the east-west funding should be spent on road and rail projects in Victoria. While specifying roads, the motion does not specify rail or the funding should go to Victoria. For this reason, Labor can't support the motion as worded. Thank you, Senator Moore. The question is the motion moved by Senator Muir be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Those against say no. I think the noes have it. Do you, I didn't hear a second voice, Senator Muir. Did, who indicated a second voice? Uh, Senator, Senator Day. In that case, then, is a division required? Division required? Ring the bells.
Lock the doors. The question is that the notice of motion at number 914 moved by Senator Muir be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I appoint Senator Bushby teller for the ayes and Senator McEwen teller for the noes. I relieve Senator Muir. Order there being 33 ayes and 29 noes, the matter is resolved in the affirmative. I'll advise Senators.